Good day, everyone. My name is Sergey Onshakov. This is Alexander Krupenkin. We are software developers and we working with robotics integration with Ethereum last four years. And from uh, last December, we start working with uh, Polkadot ecosystem. And uh, today I want to explain you more about why we are interested in, in robotics integration with the cryptocurrency, smart contracts and other peer-to-peer -peer technologies. Uh, we will uh, speak a little bit about GitHub repositories, what we have in Robonomics platform. Alexander will show you more technical details about Robonomics uh, on Substrate and in uh, Polkadot ecosystem. And in the last part of presentation, we will try to show you some interesting stuff for developers who are involved in Polkadot ecosystem. So, first of all, why we spent four years with robotics integration with Ethereum? And uh, to answer to this question, we need to uh, look on industrial revolutions waves. I think most of you have uh, some uh, knowledge about what is industrial revolutions. And what we can say today, we almost finished with the first and second waves of industrial revolutions around our world. And most part of developed countries now on the third uh, waves of industrial revolutions and uh, companies like BMW and other um, mostly uh, automotive companies you now try to connect different types of robotic systems in one complex and huge uh, robots, uh, robotics uh, with name uh, cyber physical systems. And if you try to look on this process from other side, what we can say on the third industrial revolutions, we start using robots as employees inside factories. But, but if you try to uh, find some topics around industry four or around next industrial revolutions, you will find concepts like uh, smart factories, like uh, sensor networks, uh, like uh, drone delivery services. And in all of these topics, you will not find one separate robot system. You will find some like autonomous services which will be uh, uh, available for end users. And in this way, my question is how we will create communications between humans who have an application on mobile phones or laptops and autonomous services who will be provider of this communication. So with these questions, we start thinking about cryptocurrencies. Because if you look not from crypto community, of course, Bitcoin is the first financial institution without borders. It's a global financial institution. But from robotics engineer, it's the first money for robots. It's the first money which can be used from human sites for direct payment to vending machine, to drone, or other type of robotic systems. But money is not enough. If you want to pay to vending machine, uh, you need not only payment transaction. You need to put technical details of this transaction, like what type of coffee you want. And we think smart contracts, it's the first technology on the way to programmable blockchains, which can help us. We can use smart contracts as a way to combine payment transactions with the technical details, and this is, will be forced by consensus. So it means each robot which will be connected to Ethereum or other programmable blockchain systems like a Polkadot ecosystem will be controlled and secured of decentralized computer. And we will never find security risk when someone pay in PayPal uh, payment and technical details will be transferred from some providers or intermediaries to robotic system. And we think these concepts of cryptocurrencies, smart contracts and other peer-to-peer -peer technologies for robotics 
will be interesting in future of cities. It will be interesting in future of industry. For example, today we have solutions to send order from your website directly to factory, but we don't use it. It's not a question more about scalability, it's a question more about how we can present this process of robotics integration with the technologies such as cryptocurrencies. So, Urbanomics platform, it's um, open source software which you can use to connect robotic system uh, what use uh, one of the most popular so, uh, robotics open source framework with name ROS, Robot Operation System, and uh, third generation of internet technologies so like IPFS, Ethereum, and from, as I said, uh, this year, Polkadot ecosystem. You can find all our source code on GitHub. You can just write Urbanomics GitHub and find this link. And what you can find on GitHub, here is six pinnet repositories, which together is Urbanomics platform. First repository, which can be interesting for you, is name ERA. ERA is Autonomous Intelligent Robot Agent. It's a little bit complicated, so it's, we say it ERA. Um, uh, ERA is a software which you can install on robotic side, and because we um, use ROS, you will use more than 100 models of robotic systems with Robonomics for today. And this project we started, era, we, we started working with ERA two years ago, so it's uh, project with uh, one history, more than 20 releases we have on GitHub. And um, it's not as stable, like, uh, but it's not an unstable too. So like, uh, not so bad, uh, but we, ha we have something what we need to do. Second is it's a uh, Urbanomics communication protocol and Urbanomics specification. You can find our uh, white paper in Urbanomics specs repository and you can find uh, uh, answers to question how we transfer uh, information from robotic side to Ethereum, IPFS and Polkadot uh, in Robonomics.com. So if you're interested, look here. Um, and we have not only a uh, white paper in specification, we have uh, an, today five uh, scientific papers. Uh, you can find here is on our website urbanomics.network slash and slash documents. It's m most part of this uh, papers about blockchain for robotics. So for in drones, for drone markets, for industry four. So try to read this and if you have some questions just write to us on email. And uh, now we currently on this stage, we started with establishment in Ethereum uh, in the last summer. We have uh, five releases of our smart contracts in Ethereum today. And in Pint repository, you can find Robonomics contracts repository. Uh, in this repository, I think you will be interested in um, our token emission algorithm because it's a system based on gas consumption. Try to find it, maybe you will be interested how you can uh, connect token economy with the gas consumption in Ethereum. And we, when Polkadot will be alive, we will start working with establishment in Polkadot. Uh, today we have a repository um, on GitHub, Urbanomics on Substrate. Uh, Alexander will speak more about that and we hope uh, uh, Polkadot uh, community will vote uh, for our Urbanomics parachain in ecosystem. So now I give microphone Alexander. Thank you, Sergey. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Alexander. 
I want to show some technical details and especially about robonomics on substrate. And um, start from robotic side. Uh, robotic operating system is the most popular robotics framework and uh, it have about uh, hundreds of supported robots and thousands of robotics developers and for this reason we use it as base for our robots. In 2018 we launched uh, with robots uh, based on Ethereum platform and uh, we use Ethereum to receive payments for these robots and uh, settle liability smart contracts. Um, now it uh, can product about uh, six of seven liability per block. And for this reason, at fall of 2018, I start to think about how to make robonomics more efficient and much more efficient. And uh, for this reason, I start to look into Substrate. And uh, at fall of 2018, I start uh, uh, <coughs> GitHub repository with uh, name Robonomics on Substrate. And uh, what is, does it mean? Uh, Robonomic Substrate consists of two important parts. It's Robonomics runtime that can uh, give you uh, ability to receive payments for your robot and create liability contract. And the uh, second part is uh, ROS uh, framework integration. It looks like a uh, RPC model for robotics. And uh, for Polkadot, we plan to implement uh, Urbanomics runtime that can receive uh, uh, tokens and uh, assets uh, in ideal it uh, would works with uh, another power chains using uh, ACPM and uh, runtime also provide um, storage for liabilities and uh, ROS integration model is export of, to ROS from framework uh, something uh, from chain uh, it's uh, use uh, ros publisher subscriber name service to export block information and uh, liability information process and um, i want to show some live demo that we have now uh, in urbanomics and substrate uh, please don't panic it have a lot of uh, terminal screens um, just yes <laughs> what we have here we have a uh, two virtual machine the first virtual machine is a customer and second is a very very trivial robot it have name uh, turtle sim what does happened i launch in each virtual machine uh, Substrate node and uh, ROS communication stack. I use uh, local network between two nodes, and uh, at right is a trivial turtle that c can move around his rectangle. This is initialization step of uh, second virtual machine. Uh, I start two ROS nodes. It's uh, ROS processes, but one is handle of uh, demand for service, and the second is a worker node that go move uh, a turtle. That's the next. I connect a second uh, substrate node and try to receive some blockchain information from ROS. As you can see in this area, 
uh, we now do connect it and uh, print that we have one uh, peer connected. What we next? I try to publish a uh, daemon of uh, total service. I publish it in ROS and uh, on second virtual machine I receive it. What's happened here? Uh, in common daemon and uh, trader send response for this and liability created. So total received work and move forward. That's all. Uh, we already have a launch testnet. Uh, please join us and you can try this example in our repository. It has name uh, Total Sim Simulator. Sergey? So, and two minutes more. Um, so, uh, what you can, why you can, or why you can interest in using Garbanomics? So, if you think to create some like uh, um, robotics markets for IoT data marketplace, or to control unmanned traffic management system, or to launch smart factories, uh, Urbanomics will help you to create your provider's network for that. Uh, so it's some like uh, you can create your robotics markets, your own robotics market. Second is if you're a robotic engineer, you can connect your uh, robotic system directly to get orders from Polkadot networks and uh, your robotics uh, functions will be available for end users. And as I said before, security risks is here is most important part because when we start thinking about uh, uh, applications for users and to connect with robotic systems, because robotics is very expensive systems, uh, many many people said no, no. If we start using some like these systems maybe we will avoid security risks in the future. And the last one, for users, it means they can uh, pay in payment tokens or assets and don't care about anything else. So you just only need to connect payment asset with uh, end user application, as it's so, for users. They don't need more in Ethereum, they don't need the uh, ethers for gas, and they will not to more, more uh, tokens or uh, other assets for sign, sign message and send transaction, only what you want to receive from your users. So, in conclusion, uh, if you're interested to connect your drone base, your 3D printers uh, hub with the token economy, uh, write to us. We will help you to do that from one platform to two ecosystems for Ethereum and Polkadot at the same time. Second is, we are second layer solution. And when we think about one platform, two ecosystems, it's uh, something new. We don't have uh, much more experience in this. No one has uh, much more experience for that. So it's interesting issues. If you have uh, some ideas in mind, please go to our GitHub, push issues, and we will start working together with the system. So, thank you, and try to read this tweet. It's Norbert Wiener, he's a father of modern uh, cybernetics, and it's very important, I think, today for all of us. So, thank you. <laughs>